Mike from DietarySelfDefense.com here today with an update and a bit of a challenge. So as a lot of you know, I've been working on a Dietary Self-Defense curriculum for some time now and Tom and I have been really working on flushing it out and how to make it have the most impact. How can we make it the most uh, readily digestible for you to use for your students and for yourself? So with that, we're putting out a challenge to you. Well, first, Tom challenged me. He said to me, I task you with the diet and the health of all the members of the 100. That's what he did. He pointed right at me. He said, I task you with that. So he's quite taskmaster. So I take up the challenge, and now I'm coming at you. So what we want to do with the dietary self-defense curriculum is, of course, move away from this idea of a curriculum in a box that does not serve anybody. It does not serve you, and it does not serve your students. So instead, we're going to do some things different. We're going to do some things in a way that's really never been done before. We want to, first off, create a community. Similar to the 100, similar to uh, the idea of it being a living, living breathing entity. So the curriculum will be constantly growing and evolving. Now, what that means for you is that first, you need to get on board and commit to your health and to your fitness, which many of you already are, which is fantastic. But we need to take it a next step into some further action. So we need to get you on board. We need to make sure that you understand how the program works so that you can teach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it available to you and make myself available to you to be able to get you to the level that you want to be at. And it's not just about weight loss. Some of you might be thinking, yeah, but my weight is fine. It's not just about weight loss. It's about cancer, cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, strokes, Alzheimer's, diabetes. It's all these things. We want to prevent and even in some cases reverse these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the first 10 lessons There'll be a monthly lesson right now, and we're going to progress that to a weekly lesson. But right now, it's 10 monthly lessons. I'm going to give those to you for free. It's going to be a flashcard and a video with some tasks and a quick little mat chat. I'm going to give these to you for free so you can start putting them out to your students right away. The next thing is that I'm going to then give you all the tools that you need to be able to take this challenge to the next level and really improve your health. To really improve your diet. okay. Tom had said something that if your students were getting attacked every day on the way to the grocery store, you'd be doing something to make sure that they understood how to defend themselves against these attackers. Well, the reality is, is that you're getting attacked at the grocery store. So how do we overcome that? That's what we're going to teach you. So here's the thing. DietarySelfDefense.com. Okay? I want you to go there and become a member if you're not already. On Friday, I'm going to make available all the flashcards for the first 10 lessons in dietary self-defense. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there's menu and meal plans available for you to download to get on top of your health and your eating. Now, some of you may have a great diet, which is fine. This stuff will be available anyways. Take a look at it. It's laid out. It'll be based on calories, and I'm going to show you on Friday how to do the calories. It's through what's called your BMR. This is the same thing I use for fighters to make sure that they're on weight, on time. And really, when we get into it, calorie counting is not nearly as important as you think it is or that you've been told it is, but it's a good way to uh, start learning how to portion. And the reality is, is that when you're eating a whole food-based diet, doesn't matter. You're going to be full. It, it's, it's a non-issue. So I'm going to provide you with all the tools. And, and those two things I just mentioned are just the start. But in return, I expect things out of you, just like the 100. Post some videos of Diet Chronicles. Post the things that you're eating. Post some pictures of the things that you're eating. Make a food journal. I'm here to help you, okay? You can reach me through the 100. You can reach me on the dietaryselfdefense.com site. I have another website called exhalewellness.com, and that is more for the general public. You can get on there and look at some things on there and contact me through there. There's also my Skype, my phone number, and my email. Call me, email me, Skype me, do whatever it takes. I will help you on implementing this, not only into your life, but for your students as well. So on Friday, 
watch the 100 in the dietaryselfdefense.com site. The postcards will be available. There'll be some videos available. You'll be able to start implementing this. You'll be able to start getting on top of it with your own diet. There's going to be a few other things that are coming on the Friday as well and over the next few weeks. But this needs you to be involved. It's a living, breathing entity. And without you involved, there's nothing. Tom has tasked me. Now I'm tasking you. Don't let me down. Don't let Tom down. Don't make me let Tom down. Okay? So... Head on over there, head on over to the site, check it out, and we will talk more on Friday. Have a good day.